I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on inverse of quadratic functions. You need to find inverse of the function 2x squared plus 16x plus 31. If you are given in the standard form and you need to find the inverse, the best way is to complete the squares and write it in vertex form. So the method will be to complete squares. Okay, so we could write this expression as y equals to rather equation as 2x squared plus 16x plus 31. Taking 2 from the first two terms, we get x squared plus 8x plus 31. Now, half of 8 is 4. So we'll add and subtract 4 square. That is the step for completing the squares. The first three terms form a perfect square. So we write plus sign and bring in 4, whole square, minus 16, plus 31. Open this bracket, so we get 2 times x plus 4, whole square, minus 32, plus 31. And that gives us 2 times x plus 4 whole square minus 1. So we get our function in the form of, in the vertex form. Now we need to find inverse of this function. So to find inverse, we'll flip x and y and then solve for y. So here we have y equals to all this. So we'll, for inverse, let me write down, for Right straight for inverse. The step is well interchange, right? X and Y, and then solve for Y. So I could write this as X equals to 2 times Y plus 4 whole square minus 1. So we can bring minus 1 to this side. It becomes 2 times Y plus 4 whole square. Dividing by 2, we get, you could write half of x plus 1 equals to y plus 4 whole square. Then we square root it. So you could do square root. Let me write like this. Equals to y plus 4. Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus. Now bring 4 this side. So you get minus 4 plus minus square root of x plus 1 over 2 equals to y. So you get the inverse I'm not writing x here since it is not a function as equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of x plus 1 over 2. Now there are a few things which we should consider at this stage as a learning process. If you look into the function itself, in that case the domain is x belongs to real numbers and the range is y belongs to real numbers, but y is, since it is positive, moving up, greater than or equal to minus 1. Now, if you look into the inverse, these things flip. And so now, the domain for the inverse will be this part. So that means x belongs to real numbers, where x is greater than or equals to minus 1. Do you see that? x has to be greater than or equals to minus 1. If it is minus 2, we get something in the negative in the radical, which is not possible. And the range here will be this, which is y belongs to real numbers. Correct? So domain and range flips when you find the inverse. Now we have few questions. One of the question is, is inverse a function? Question is, is inverse a function? The answer clearly is no, right? No. Because of this plus minus, that means for each value of x, we can have two values. Therefore, it is not a function. Perfect. So what we get here is that inverse is not a function. Now, the second question which you may get is how to make f inverse as function. 
right? So normally we could make it as a function by restriction. So in our case, we could restrict domain as let us say x to be greater than or equal to minus 4. So if we restrict this domain greater than or equal to minus 4, we are looking to one half of the parabola, right? So, so in that case, actually speaking, the parabola here is kind of like this with the vertex here at minus 4, minus 1. So if I restrict to only greater than, we are looking into this portion of the parabola. Now this portion of the parabola will pass the horizontal line test and therefore its inverse will be a function. Do you get the idea, right? So if we do this restriction in that case, we do get a function and with this restriction, our function will be this half with positive sign. It will be minus 4 plus square root of x plus 1 over 2 square root. Do you get an idea? So in this particular case, the domain is restricted and therefore here the range will be restricted. You get an idea to this value, correct? So that is how we can actually get inverse as a function, correct? So that's our important learning here. Now as a question for you is, the question for you is find domain and range of f inverse x that means restricted function otherwise it is not a function this is not a function right so i left that part for you to answer so you have to write down domain and range for f inverse x so this is your question so i hope you get a good understanding that for a quadratic function given in standard form you have to first write it in vertex form and then find the inverse as we did i hope that's absolutely clear feel free to share your views if you like and subscribe that'll be fun great all the best